I'm picking the first building site. I got a, I got a great real estate agent. Got a great deal on a new property. <sighs> and they said spinos were great flyers. All right. Now let's uh, let's walk again. I think we're here. All right, we're here. So this is it. This is the property. This is. I think if you have your your number one place or number one pick of an entire server of where you want to build, I think you're gonna want to build here. It's got the most uh, most metal and the most uh, stone. If you want to build out of stone, that's great. Uh, this building is going to be a very simple building. Oh, hello there, Spino. Um, it's gonna be out of wood. We're gonna build out of wood today. Let's see, do I have my wave? No, it's just a bow. And that's slit my throat, okay. Uh, let's get the wave on. There's the wave, and he's bowing still. There we go, now I've assigned it. It works! <laughs> okay, so we're gonna build out of wood. We're gonna build here on the side of the, uh, on the side of the volcano. Uh, we're gonna try to put the edge of the foundation here so it doesn't interrupt uh, the spawning. It may interrupt like a few bits, but it shouldn't interrupt any at all of the spawning metal. Uh, a lot of people build their uh, community forges up here on the side here, but uh, I'm gonna build a giant barn where you can put all of your animals and stuff. And I'm also gonna build a watchtower over there. Um, another thing I'm gonna build is a giant ramp all the way down the side of the mountain so you can get immediate access to that whole forest right there. So you can take a mammoth down the ramp and you can take the mammoth up the ramp and you can do all your building and stuff. But I'm gonna build it uh, with infinite materials. Now the first time I built this structure, uh, it was my first time on Ark. I did it uh, again in single player, of course. Uh, just exploring the game, but I ended up really liking that structure and I want to see what it looks like if I had a chance to build it again. Uh, so we're gonna do that. Uh, first things first, I'm gonna need some materials. I'm going to cheat in these materials in bulk. I have a stacking mod, by the way. I have two mods. I have, I have just a stacking mod, so it's just gonna be uh, a help me build it sandbox type thing. And the stacking mod also reduces the weight of materials. Look at all these materials I have. And this was just, you know, the give resources command so I could get started real quick. Um, everything's like super duper light and I've got 800 weight but hardly even need it, uh, which is excellent. So I'm going to be able to stack tons and tons of my building materials together. I'm going to have to go ahead and look up those uh, cheat commands, of course. I'm going to need pillars and ceilings first because I'm going to lay the foundations. Um, we're gonna do this out of wood, like I've said, so I'm gonna get these wooden ceilings. And I'm gonna get a whole bunch of wooden pillars. And get this started. Uh, of course, you could build this out of anything, but I'm just gonna show you how to... How to sort of do this. How to do a big structure here on the side. Alright, so this is gonna be exciting. Let's go ahead and do that. I'll, uh, see ya... When I've done that! <laughs> Alright. So what you want to do is you want to sort of start on uh, not the highest point because that can interrupt the build, but you want to start at a medium high point. That, is that, where does that aim to? Okay, that aims right over there. That's about exactly right. And there it is, folks. Look at that. There's the foundation. I'm going to turn around for the camera. Okay, we built the foundation. Uh, it's it's big. It's good. It's gonna do what we need, which is nice. I'm gonna go move the, the Spino and... Oh, I don't know. I guess we can build it around. Yeah, he's not getting in the way. Of course not. I'm gonna need some walls now. Uh, so here's the deal. Here's how you get... Uh, here's how you cover up a foundation like this. What you do is you don't extend pillars up to the next floor, because then you'll have pillars on the next floor. 
Uh, you know, you could probably, like, uh, extend a pillar like this up and, you know, then you just have the four corners, but, uh, why do that when you can just extend a wall? You do one wall high, uh, you do a wall around, and you completely encase the sub-level, and, uh, I promise, you won't even know it, notice it. I mean, once you build, you know, a giant barn that's, you know, like, 40 wall tiles high, you won't even notice one on the bottom. So, uh... That'll completely cover it up. Let's see, what are walls? I need the item ID for walls. Uh, walls are... Number 93. Number 93 on the list. So, if we go here, control paste. Uh, and we type in 93, we will have 100 walls. So, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna replace ceilings with walls right now on my hotbar all right so there is the whole foundation uh, now one thing to do, I don't think my computer is going to have a problem with the extra structures. But if you do have a problem with extra structures, you can remove... Um, the center row here. The center row here. The center row here. And so on. And it won't affect the structure above it. But uh, if you don't have a problem with structures, then by all means just continue building. Oh my goodness. You know, I, I turned Bloom off. There's just reflections, I guess. I, I'd have to turn reflections off, probably. Boy, they really turned up the reflection. I don't think wood is all that reflective. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. But, like, that reflective? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't recall wood ever being that reflective. Okay. And, of course, you can build the access hatch here. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and leave that open. I will build that access hatch. Let's see. I need a, I need a thing. I need a, th and I need a railing. Or, of course, you can do it with walls. Let's try that out. Okay. Kind of like go over here. And then you got your stairs and you just go down. Okay, well, sort of, kind of, and you just put a door here. All right, we'll put a door there someday. All right, let's get started on the back end of this place. Just doing some crazy building here. There's <laughs> the main building there. <laughs> so, gotta install the gate. <laughs> we'll do that. I think I'm looking a little bit too far left. I think I need to look a lit, just a tiny little bit right. Okay. Oh, too far. Oh no, how can I tell? Let's get that in the center. And then center. Okay. Okay, I think that's good. Six. And put in the gate. And then the rest of the walls. Okay. Oh, excuse- uh, it's- I think it's- yeah, alright, there. Little bit of- 
Not sure what that was. I guess we got a little hiding spot right here. <laughs> That's not too bad. So the deal with these sloped roofs is that to get the next level, you have to build a wall. Because it, it goes up by one each, each, uh, each slope. Okay. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's the way you do it. Okay. Is this like a spaghetti western type theme? That's what this sounds like. This is obviously meant to be on a peaceful server, or a PvE server. But have a look at that. That's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> um... Let's 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 come down here and stop flying for a second. Whoa, look at that beard. Isn't that something? Well, guess what everybody? The barn is more or less complete. It's uh it's a bit bare bones. But the full macro structure is complete here. Nothing's poking out of the floors. You've got access here to the sublevel, of course, the uh, foundation. And you've got plenty of space. You can finish uh, the inside however you want. You can build another level here if you need it. If you need a kitchen, you can build it anywhere you like. Uh, you can put an elevator here that goes up there to the top. And let's just fly up there real quick and show you. This up here is the aviary, and you can park all of your flying uh, tames and uh, fly them out through either of the two large openings. If you don't like them, you can of course close it up, and you can build maybe a stone dinosaur gateway to get uh, some of your uh, Argentavis and 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 other birds, as well as you know just close it up if you need it. You can build this out of stone if you, if you want. You can replace. It with metal if you're going that way, but uh, this is the barn build on top of the volcano. And I just realized this took three hours to build. And that's with, uh, that's with all of the materials brought in uh, through the cheat menu. 
Uh, if you were to gather these materials, it would take about three days to gather. I've I've done so myself. I built a giant uh, ramp down there to that forest, and I've went over there with a Quetzal to grab a, a, a mammoth, and I've tamed a mammoth, and I've I originally built this thing, same spot, same rough size. Uh, it took about three days of gathering materials. But it was fun, you know? It was it was a fun project. It's it's good to recreate it uh, so simply and so easily. Next time, I will build said uh, ramp down there in the next episode. I'll build the ramp because I think that's a really cool feature, having a ramp right there down to the cave. Uh, it grants great accessibility. You can tame a Giganotosaurus and, you know... Grab one of those things and, and or a brontosaurus and you can walk that thing up the ramp and get it up here and um, I, in one of these uh, three episodes I'm also going to build the watchtower so I don't know which I'm going to build next either the ramp or the watchtower but uh, I'm going to need to extend the foundation here a little bit uh, maybe over here. I think I need to build a watchtower first, because then the, the ramp just goes in between. But anyway, that's the barn. Hope you enjoyed it. Now paint it red. Uh, I like the rustic look. <laughs> but sure, if, if I need to paint some of these, I'll paint them, but like, I'm not... I'm not... <laughs> I'm Bat the Builder, I'm not, I'm not Bat the Interior Decorator. <laughs> so... <laughs> Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next episode, which I'm going to stream here immediately. <laughs> see you then, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>